start flexing some fingers. Nice and simple exercise. Flex, flex the fingers. Roll the wrists. Shake out those arms. Not too hard, you might fly away. One arm across. One arm across the chest. Put the other one into the into here and just look over. <laughs> Parents, if you want to help, that's it, that's it. Yeah, look that way, look that way. There we go, and same again the other way. And roll the shoulders. Roll the shoulders. Bent arms, just roll them over, roll them over. And into swimming. Swim forward, make sure you don't hit anything, and then into big circles. Big circles, and the other way. One at a time. One at a time, all the way over. Look, right, right, and the other one coming all the way like a big windmill. Head's nice and straight, back's nice and straight, knees a little bit bent. And there, one, one way, one the other way. One, one way, one the other way. One, one. Okay, hips. Did we do hips already? Okay. I think we did. Right, now, you're gonna go in high order. You're gonna follow me, and we're gonna be like little ducks. So we're gonna sit right down here, hold our fingers like this, and we're gonna put them underneath our armpits, and we're gonna walk on our tippy toes. Watch what I'm doing with my feet, one flat, and we're gonna quack, 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 Going ducks. Okay, let me start with the next exercise. Okay, do you remember what we were doing yesterday? Yeah. Everyone stand up, please. Everyone stand up over the side. Before Simon the Duck. Before Simon. Sit here, stand here, Eliana. This time it's gonna come across. Do it in a second, Shishi. I need to set them up for the next exercise. Okay, so just do this foot sweep, skipping across. Again, feet, slide, push. Back foot comes first and pushes across. Back foot, push across. Do that for a couple of seconds while I try and get the, the YouTubers live. Mom, can I then you're coming? Still doing that, keep going. Ow! Why is there no owl? There should be no owls. There should be no owls. Okay, this time. Shush, it's not on, darling. Did you do it inside? So you connected it to inside, you didn't connect it out here. Okay, so we've done this one. We've done this one. So as we're sliding across now, that little foot comes in front. As we said the other day, we're making this scoop. Scoop. 
scoop. So we've already done that, we're building up this exercise every day. So this time, when we scoop across, we're actually gonna take that all the way through, and we're gonna turn. So we're gonna scoop across, we're gonna take this foot all the way through, we're gonna pivot on that back foot, and we're gonna turn both our feet facing direction, nice and square, knees slightly bent, hips underneath our shoulders, head nice and square. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go slide across, sweep across the front, and turn. No, you're gonna copy exactly what I'm doing because there's a reason why I'm doing it. I'm gonna pull my foot towards me, I'm gonna push out. This back leg is gonna come across all the way forward, and I'm gonna turn. That's what I do with my leg. Okay. Sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna push across and turn. Okay, let's see that. Let's keep going. Okay, almost. And both feet should be completely square when you finish, like this. So we're so we're gonna come across, sweep across, and end up feet shoulder width apart. What? I did Let's be careful, it's apparently very difficult. Okay, so one, two, three. Three. One, two. Uh, I'm really sorry, but the YouTube the YouTubers are not because my computer has broken, so we've only got the phone. It's real though. It's too late now. Right, I'll, I'll maybe do another session after this for the YouTubers. Okay, so we've done that. Raphael's just got to that, so I think we should change exercise. We're just chopping around. Okay, so here we go. We've done this one yesterday, and that's what we were doing today. We've incorporated those two movements. Now, what we're going to do is a star jump. Does everyone know what a star jump? Yeah. We're going to add a few bits. We're going to add a few bits to it. We're going to add a press up. We're going to add a squat thrust, uh, and we're going to add a little bit of a judo movement. So here we go. So we're going to go star jump to here. I'm going to do it this way. We star jump to here. Then we're going to go down. We're not going to do a squat thrust, but we're going to go into press up position. Press up position, and then we're going to lift one knee up to one side, one knee up to the other side, making sure that our backs are always nice and straight. If we can't do it, we can go to our knees here. Yeah, so we can come out here, so we've got our knees here. One knee up, and then one knee up. And then we're going to come up to here, back to where we were, to this squat position, a seated squat here. We're going to put our legs together. We'll put our legs back out. Put our legs together, but not completely together. We're going to go to here, to here, to here, to here. To here. Okay, so one. Okay, one. That's one. Don't worry about invisible ropes, just do the exercise. Ready? Go. Uh, Jimmy. Come on, copy what I did. That's it, and the other one. And another one. If you can't do it, you can just do some nice, simple star jumps. Okay, let's make it nice, let's make it nice on the spot because you're. Watch what you're doing on the spot. Yeah, you have to watch what you're doing. I did say. I did say. You okay? Everybody you okay? You have to be sensible. We've done three. Keep going. Let's get to five. Let's get to five. Now, if there's more than one of you, we're going to move. Keep going. Got another two. We're going to get on to the next exercise. Now, yesterday we were doing a little bit core stability stuff. So now, we're going to do the bottom shuffle. The bottom shuffle, okay? So everybody sit down on their bottoms. 
And this is quite a difficult one, but it's really, really good for your core and your stomach. We're going to move backwards one side at a time. And we're going to move backwards one side at a time. And when you get back a little bit, when you get back a metre, then we're going to go forwards. We're going to go forwards. Oh, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. We need all of this in judo when we're fighting on the floor. So we're going to come forwards. If I had some music, we could play the Macarena now. And then we're going to go backwards again. We're going to go backwards. One more time. Keeping nice and upright. That's it, that's good. And then back forwards. Oh dear, what's happening here? Oh dear, that's why you should be in your exercise clothes. Okay, so that's one thing. Now, everybody lie down. Find a space. Find a space. Over there, obviously not in my space, because I'm going to need the space. So I'm going to show you what to do. Come lay next to me, here. Yeah, Rafa, no one can see that. Come, come lay next to me then. Now what we're going to do, we're going to lie flat on our backs. Lie flat on our backs, can everybody see? Our hands flat on the floor. Our legs as straight as we can put them out. And we're going to reach out to one side as far as we can go. And we're going to put it on the floor. And then we're going to go as high as we can all the way to the other side. And we're going to put it on the floor. Okay. And we're going to go all the way up. And we're going to go one. Two, three, four, and five. Very good. Okay, so you've done five. Now, if you found that really easy, keep going and try and do ten. Each day, we're going to try and build up these exercises a little bit more and get a little bit more excited when we do them. So that is just a little one. How many of you done five? Anyone done five? Everyone's done five. I've done ten. Okay, now, while we're lying on the floor, Quick punching, even though this is nothing to do with judo, but we need the side muscles. Legs together, and all we're going to do is put our hands on our thighs, and we're going to just go up to the knees. No push it further, get, get your palms right up to the top of your knee, up here. Yeah, all the way up, all the way up. Put your knees back further. There you go, and we go from here, just tuck up. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, back onto the front. Back onto the front. As we did yesterday, let's get these stomachs working. On your knees, walking forward on your elbows until we're nice and flat. And we're going to stay there. No, look at me, look at you. Okay, nice and flat, straight body. Do hold that hip up. Same with you. Let's make this right, there we go. That and now tuck your tummies in, hold your tummies tight. That's it. There you go, like that. Easy peasy, because you're lying flat on the floor. That's right, easy. And hold it there, that's called a plank. Now they've done a plank from the knees. Stop there. Mate, no heroes, listen to what I'm saying. Up you get. So if you're finding it hard, if you're an adult and you want to try and do some of these exercises, you want to make it a little bit tougher, as we said yesterday, really, we want to be trying doing it for judo purposes. We really want to be doing it from this press-up position and hold that plank nice and solid here. Um, then we want to try one leg up. Oh, that's what I'm And then the other leg up. And if you really want to try opposite ways, try and get some of the stabilizers muscles in. Okay, and that will start to help with the stabilizer muscles. Okay, darling. Okay. Yeah, but we want to keep that back nice and flat. Yeah, so it's important that we do these exercises really, really well. Okay, good. Not arching the back, keeping it nice and flat. Okay, back to our feet. Okay, so now 
We've done a few exercises on our legs today. I want everyone to stand on their favourite leg. Stand on your favourite leg. Ah. And what I want you to do, looking straight forward, keeping your shoulders I nice and square, I want you to hop from one side to the other. In a little four movements, you shouldn't be going more than a triangle. So, sorry, a square. So in front of you, draw a square. I and we're going to go, we're going to go to the diagonal side. Watch me. We're going to go a diagonal corner. We're going to go across and then diagonally back. Across, diagonally forward. We're going to do that with our favourite leg first. I, I can our favourite leg first. So draw an imaginary box in front of you. Hop diagonally over. Looking forward. Keeping your back nice and square. Okay, so just wait over here, give the boys some space if you can't do it. No problem if you can't do it. Okay, so draw the square in front of you, keep your shoulders nice and square. Then, this is going to be, I did my, my unfavourite leg first. Now, your, your, other, your other leg, your other leg. Draw an imaginary square in front of you. We're going to hop across diagonally, then it back, and then here. Excuse me. You shouldn't be hopping around, it's very, very simple, just in front of you. That's so funny, draw the square. Okay. No, I'd like you to do what I want you to do. That's it. How are we doing? We're all hopping around, hopefully we're not falling over. If it's too much and you can't get this, just hop side to side. Side to side. And then the other foot. Side to side. Forward to keep your head up, keep your head square, uh, keep, keep your shoulders back. Right. That's it. Now my legs are. Oh, your legs are getting tired. We've done a lot of leg work today, that's yeah. why. You <laughs> fell over again. You spent more time lying down today. I'll break fully. You know, we're not doing break now, and you break full with your elbow, which is not good. Stand up. Um. You have to break full properly. Okay, so. Yeah, we've got the diagonal one, we've got some diagonal hopping, we've got lots of hopping. That's really, really good. Round of applause for all of the hopping, the flamingos, and the ducks of the day. Right, next That's exercise. Every round of applause in ballet as well. What else are you doing in ballet? Do you want to show us anything you do in ballet? Oh, wait, is that a plie? I'm a whole dresses. I don't have a dress, can I hold a dress? I don't think everyone has a dress. I've got here, you have this. Okay, guys, now talking of dance, if anyone's ever done dance before, we're going to do something now which is a good exercise. It's really to do with judo, but you might have seen it in other disciplines as well. We're going to get onto our knees, we're going to come forward into a ball position. Just make sure you can see this. Now, if someone wants to attack me from my front, it's very important for me to get out of this ball position, which is a defensive position, into an attacking position. So as we discussed last week, last Friday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an, uh, an arm out to stabilise myself, and I'm going to sit through. Yeah, and then I'm going to bring my leg through. Really, really simple. You might think it's simple, but you have to try it. So it's why we're doing all this core work, is so when I get to here, I can come out, I can stabilise myself, and I can come in and I can sit through. Okay, so let's just do this one. Let's try this one. I'm sure you do this in ballet as well. Everybody sit through. Okay, we're going to the head end, not the side. The guys, the, your opponents are your head end. So again, you want to sit through. All the way through, yeah, that's it, and get the leg out. Very good. Let's keep doing that. Yes, well, this is a judo class, so you would have thought the things we've been doing in judo we'll be doing in this judo class, right? Yes. There we go. So you can just sit there like that, okay? <laughs> and swap legs, so I don't want you to get sore. Right, now we're going to do the other one, which is one of Ariel's favourites. So, out of the way, please, Raphael, shuffle back. Do the. Is this your oh yeah. Out of the way, just one second, sit over there. This. Right, this one. So, we're going to come here in a nice star position. We've got make yourself a square. So, we've got a nice big square. And I'm going to take one of my feet, whichever way it's feet, I'm going to replace my diagonal hand. I'm going to replace my oh, diagonal look. hand. And this hand that I've just replaced with my foot, I'm going back onto that diagonal where it was. So, now I'm in my crab position. Then, I'm going to take one of my feet again whichever foot I want, and I'm going to bring it back 
to replace the hand, the diagonal hand, and I'm going back into this square. And we can then do this nice 360 motion, and each time you can do it. Yeah, so we're going to take off one of our feet. She's going to struggle with this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down really slow and I'm going to put it on Instagram and YouTube later so you can actually see these in depth and what we're doing and why we're doing them. Just getting all these exercises going quick, quick, quick. Okay, what's that, Raphael? Take one of your feet, go back, go back. Take one of your feet, put it where your hand is. That's it, and now put where, that, put your, where your, your left, put this hand, no, back to here, to here. Opposite, to there. That's it. And again. If it's too much, just sit out for a second. I'm too dizzy. Okay, so that's quite a tough one, but it's really good to get the blood flowing, a little bit of a tricep workout, a little bit of core stability again, and it starts to starts to get into some of the movements that we need for judo later on. Now, as we said, um, although these are all judo exercises, it is a fun class that so we're just trying to get the energy pumping um, and to help you guys out at home. In a few weeks' time, when we get out of all of this, you're welcome to come down to the Sustentai Judo Club in Bournemouth, and we'll actually take all the exercises we're doing now and show you practically how they come into judo. So if I take my son, uh, just to give you a quick demonstration, as we're moving across the mat together, the one that we're doing today is as he's stepping, I'm going to be taking his foot and allowing him to break it on the mat. Okay, that was the first week that we did. The other exercise that we did is here. This time he knows what I'm going to do. Square, please. Uh, he knows what I'm going to do because he's just been caught with my foot sweep. So as I bring my foot through, he's going to step away from me. And I, as I said before, I'm going to keep this foot going. I'm going to turn. What are you doing? I'm trying to throw me here. What's the white wine? Is that what, is that what Nuki does? That Yeah, so as we said before, don't try and throw me because I'll throw you more. As we did before, we come across the mat like before. This time I go for my foot sweep. I miss it because he steps back. I turn, and I've got my throw here, not so touch. Okay, now, the one that we did before, I actually came across, I missed my sweep, I kept this in here, I turned all the way, because my feet were square, weren't they? And that sets me up for a load of other throws, which I can do. Okay, so there we go. So that's some of the past elements of what we're doing. So don't think that just because we're not throwing anyone today, that these aren't designed really for beautiful judo later on. So, sorry I was a little bit late today. Uh, I am going to do another session um, and get it up on YouTube as well, because unfortunately um, this one hasn't been recorded. Um, so, got any feedback, any exercise you found really difficult, let me know and I'll put a tutorial up later on. Um, but, yeah. A little bit of a warm down, let's do a warm down. So everybody back on the mat. It's really important in these times that we understand all, all the way our brains work and the way our bodies work. Um, and I just want to do a little bit of relaxation for the kids. There's no anxiety, everything's going to be okay. Mummies and daddies are going to look after you as long as you keep sanitizing, washing your hands, keeping hydrated and doing all your exercise. Because like my mother just said, prevention is better than cure. So we have to make sure we fit in these times. So everybody lying down. Everybody lying down, even, ah, even, even the parents can do this one, but be careful you don't fall asleep. So, hands up to the sky, and hands by your waist, by your waist, up to the sky. By your hips, by your waist, up to the sky, legs together. Raphael, darling, that's, that's, that's not your hips here. Okay, up to the sky. And what we're going to do now is we're going to breathe in through our noses, into our stomachs, not into our lungs, but into our stomachs, and breathe out through our mouths. And I want everybody now, I want them to try and tense every single muscle in their body. I want you to squeeze tight as much as you can, as tight as you can, including your toesies and including your calves and your quads and your legs and every single muscle in your stomach. All at once, try and coordinate your whole body together, even your fists by your waist. 
And I want to hold it for three seconds. Okay, ready? On three, we'll hold for three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And relax. Breathe out. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose. Ready to hold again, to squeeze every single muscle in our body all at once. Ready, steady, Jimmy! One, two, three, and on your feet. So guys, that's a really nice way just to relax. I try and do one before I go to bed every single night after I've said my good night prayers. After I said my prayers, I always do a little bit of relaxation exercise. It's really good, especially in these times, just to recenter, just to refocus. And last couple. Now, we're just going to do from standing, like with the other day, because we like this one. I've had lots of positive views on it. Is we're going to breathe in, and then we're going to exhale. We're going to clear our minds. Think about absolutely nothing, just the breathing in and breathing out. Legs shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart, Ariel. Both feet facing forward, Ariel. And that's it. Thank you very much, guys. See you again tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have fixed my computer by then.